Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm super excited to share with you guys that Sephora has just started their Beauty Insider Appreciation event. So I am going to be sharing with you guys all of the items that I love from Sephora, things that I'm constantly repurchasing, and then current items that I'm loving at the moment that I want to share with you all. The event is running from August 24th through the September 3rd, and whether you're a Rouge member, VIB member, or a Beauty Insider, you get different percentages off on different dates. So I'm going to list everything down below for you and give you all of the coupon codes so you get your discounts off and if you're a makeup lover like me this is the time now to purchase everything that you like so without further ado let me share with you guys everything that I'm loving so let's start with skincare and I'm gonna run through this fairly quickly because I have to run out to um, to a dinner date with my husband but the first item that I'm really loving right now and that I keep in my shower is the Paracone MD gentle cleanser it's hypoallergenic I really feel like it cleanses my face it removes all of my makeup all of the dirt and again I keep this in my shower I love it it smells really good and I definitely will be repurchasing this I've used like I think there's only like this much left in this bottle but definitely recommend this if you have acne prone skin like I do this is a really really great product and a really great brand um, for hair care Kerastase is an amazing brand so I use this when my hair is feeling like kind of gross it's kind of feeling dry at the ends this is their uh, pre shampooing infusion um, nutrition shampoo I'm trying to see where it is in English it's intense moisturizing conditioner this is the conditioner and I have the shampoo and then I also have their like essential oil that I also use I love all three of these products and also I share this with my mom and my sister because they both tend to have drier hair than I do. So I use this when I really want to like hydrate my hair. Typically I have very oily hair, but there are those days where I feel like I need the hydration, especially on my ends. So I will use the shampoo and conditioner on those days. Um, so yes, I really love these. I love the way they smell. There is um, no silicone in this, which is amazing. I try to get like paraben free, silicone free hair products. Um, moving on to a few other hair products currently have this in my hair My hair is probably like two or three days not washed. So the living proof perfect hair day dry shampoo Really really love this stuff. It smells really good It does leave a little bit of a white residue in your hair So you just spray it in your hair let it sit for like 30 seconds and then you do this with your hair to like remove all of the white residue but I love the way it smells it really refreshes my hair and I just curled my hair after using it and I really like this product definitely gonna be repurchasing it and this is my second bottle um, another um, hair product that I love is the Moroccan oil dry texture spray I also have that in my hair I feel like it gives it a little bit of volume a little zhuzh um, I have that in my hair right now after I curled my hair and it adds like a gritty feel to it So I feel like it's good for me because curl doesn't really stay in my hair But I decided to curl my hair But I feel like this product is really good if you have similar hair that I do and it tends to be more straight This adds a little bit of grit and texture to your hair. It also smells amazing. I love Moroccan hair products because their products smell incredible um, the next product is also Moroccan hair oil. Um, it's their oil treatment and I have that at the bottoms of my hair. When I'm when they're feeling kind of dry, I'll put this in both dry and wet. Um, but again, it smells amazing. It's a really, really great oil for your hair and I really love their products. They smell incredible, they work amazing. So definitely love this oil. I also have a travel size one that I travel with when I'm going on trips. So definitely love this and would definitely purchase it in the sale. Um, I think the rest oh so the one thing that I definitely always hands down buy at Sephora at Sephora are my fragrances both for myself and for my husband so I wanted to share with you guys our favorites um, so my Chanel chances I buy all of my Chanel um, perfumes at um, Sephora so this is the Autant it's more a little bit more fresh but still girly and then this is the Eau de Parfum and this is like very classic and elegant I love these perfumes so much and then I also purchased the Coco Mademoiselle um, I want to say this is the Eau de Parfum as well yeah 
so I love um, buying my Chanel products there and I probably will stock up because some of my chance is like almost going um, but I love having Chanel on hand that's like hands down my favorite fragrance ever which brings me to my husband's um, fragrance I have the Bleu de Chanel for him it's the Eau de Parfum as well this smells incredible ladies get this for your husband for your boyfriend for your brother for your dad love this Per, um, cologne. Um, I also buy him the YSL which he's running out of so and I didn't want to show you the bottle it's kind of like raggedy looking but the YSL Lomb um, cologne is amazing as well but um, this it smells incredible and then his everyday perfume like that one the uh, Blue Jip, um, Chanel is more for like special occasions for every day I buy him the Burberry Touch Men I have always loved this cologne for some reason like since I was like younger um i feel like i remember like boys wearing it when i was in middle school so i just love this for every day like i can immediately smell when somebody is wearing it that's like walking by me a man um it smells amazing it's a good everyday um cologne for him so he wears this every day to work and i just love the way that it smells um, the rest of the stuff is makeup so I'm gonna run through this fairly quickly because I have a bunch of products but two primers so I have the makeup forever um, step one this one is the hydrating primer this is really really great especially for you girls who have maybe not um, like combination skin or dry skin I have combination to acne prone skin but I do really like this primer and then I've been using this one the pore professional I'm so late to the game on this this is like a travel size and I'm testing it out I'm going to be buying a full bottle because this stuff is amazing it like makes my skin feel like a baby's skin amazing so I'm loving this definitely going to be purchasing this in the sale um for foundations this is like my go-to my Clinique stay matte oil-free makeup you guys have heard me talk about this before but it is my absolute favorite foundation it's very light I wear the color um, nine neutral and I just feel like it keeps my skin um, looking matte because I tend to be oily so I'm constantly going to be repurchasing this one. I feel like it's good for acne prone skin. It doesn't feel heavy on my face, so definitely love this. And then if I want something like more coverage, um, I will go for the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This one actually may be a little bit light on me and I can't even tell you, this says Y235. I wanna say this one is a little bit too light for me right now, but this was one like I wanted to do like during the holidays when I'm a little bit lighter and it's not so sunny out. Um, I would wear this like during the holidays when I wanted more full coverage and like glam makeup. Definitely the um, Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Um, for powder foundation my bare minerals is hands down the best again great for acne prone skin I wear golden nude and this is like I just love this powder foundation I wear this on top of my Clinique I'm wearing that today um, again like great for acne prone skin doesn't feel heavy on my face I can wear it every single day I can wear it without like a liquid foundation and just on its own because it is a powder foundation so love 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 bare minerals and that brings me to both of my concealers which are both bare minerals this one is the bare skin complete coverage serum concealer which is what I'm oh, wearing underneath my eyes love this I wear the color medium and then I also have the stick version so I use this for like spot treatment so like I have a pimple here so I just put that on it's also in the color medium I just feel like this one blends better under my eyes with my beauty blender so this one is better for like spot treatment if I have acne. Um, I actually combined both on my little pimple today, but this one goes under my eyes. This one is for spot treatment. Love them both. Again, doesn't like cake or anything like that. Great for acne prone skin. Love it. The next item is my Laura Mercier setting powder. It's a translucent powder and it goes underneath my eyes and to set anywhere else that I need. It doesn't leave like a gross white film underneath my eyes. I absolutely love it. This stuff lasts forever. I have had this forever. It's like endless. So definitely recommend you buying this if you want a great translucent powder and you don't want to buy like the La Mer one, which I hear is, um, amazing but super expensive but now would be a good time to buy it if you are going to buy it because you are getting a discount also i have the brightening under eye powder as well for laura mercier this is if i want like really extreme brightening i feel like this one does make under my eyes look very bright this one's better for like every single day wear i'm wearing this one today and then like this i could put like under around my nose like under here if i'm putting um concealer there and i want to brighten my chin here um 
and like my t-zone area you know you can literally apply this all over your face which i wouldn't recommend but it's a translucent powder i don't think that it leaves like a funky film on your face like when you're taking pictures this one definitely very brightening so if you like that brightening effect under your eyes the smaller one the brightening powder is very good um, the next two items are going to be blushes. So I have this Hourglass Luminous, Luminous Flush um, Ambient Lightning Blush Powder from Hourglass. It's this beautiful pink color. I love this color. It's very pigmented, but also like soft at the same time. It's a beautiful color pink, which I'm not really a pink girl, but I love it for like the daytime or if I don't want such a dramatic color on my cheeks absolutely love this by hourglass and they have so many other different shades and then this one is the bare minerals the um, gen nude blush and this one is in call my blush and that is what I am wearing today it is just like the perfect like rosy blush rosy color like I can't even explain it any other way I love this shade I think it's beautiful for all skin colors um, and it's again very pigmented it's buildable if you like a lot of blush it's great if you just want like a flush of color definitely recommend the gen nude blushes and they also have a wide range of colors as well um, for eyebrows Anastasia Beverly Hills this is the medium brown um, brow powder duo I love this um, I actually need a new one and now I actually have the reasoning to go and get it but it's like broken it's half done love this powder it's great for um, like medium brown to dark brown eyebrows because there is a lighter shade and then there's a darker shade so what I usually do is the lighter shade I put at the beginning of my eyebrows and then the darker shade I put at the end then if I'm like doing my sister's eyebrows I'll usually just use the light shade all over because it's more of an ashy color um, but they obviously do like the best out eyebrow products in the game Anastasia Beverly Hills they like kill it with brows so definitely recommend this I have a brow pencil from them as well that's like the slanted one I forget what it's called like a brow stylus I'm not really quite sure but again that's also one that I have on hand if I want to use a brow pencil some days and want it to be a little bit more precise that's amazing as well and I want to say that may be in like a medium brown as well so definitely stocking up on this because this is broken and I need a new one um, for eyebrow eye palettes eyeshadow palettes all of these are by Urban Decay this is a classic The Naked 2 palette. I have that on today. I am wearing the y -O YDK and T's and the Foxy on my um, eyebrows. Look, you can see like I've used this so much, but best color palette ever. If you want an everyday look or if you want a glam look, like you could do so many things with this palette. It comes with a brush, which is in my bathroom right now, but I love this palette. Actually, all of the palettes are really good. I want to say the Naked 3 I really wanted because it was more like blush and rose gold tones. I may get that, but the Naked 2 is like a holy grail, something that I always have on hand. I could travel with. It's great. These two are even better for traveling because they are the little palettes. So this one is the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat love these colors so these are more of like oranges burnt oranges oh these are so good i never thought that i would like these shades but i have to say i love the way it looks with like pretty much any eye color because my friend sarah uses it on her green eyes and i think it looks great on her and then i have brown eyes and i really think it makes my eyes pop so definitely recommend this little palette it's incredible great for traveling as well and then this one is the naked urban decay basics palette could tell I've used that one a lot um, but it has like a black a brown a like taupe and then a variety of nudes some are like shimmer um, again I use this a lot great for traveling if you just want like a basic essential like neutral color um, eye palette great for traveling and then I am currently right now um, testing out the um, benefit bad gal bang mascara i have it on today i really really like it this is like a smaller size i may end up buying a bigger size because i usually wear the l'oreal telescopic i never spend that much money on my mascara but this is really really good i really really like the brush i'm gonna show it to you guys um it looks like this it really gets into your eyelashes but it doesn't make them clumpy i really like the consistency of it I don't think you can tell in this video but I think my eyelashes are popping so I think I may get this 
Um, and then two lipsticks. One, I'm actually not even sure if they still sell it at Sephora, but it's a Stila lipstick. I'm wearing it right now, actually, and it is called Mon Ami, which means my friend in French. But it's like this pink shade, a pink nude. I feel like when I first apply it, it looks a little too pink, and I'm just like, ugh. But once it, like, settles into my skin, I feel like it looks a little bit more nude. I kind of like it. It's not bad. I may apply like my World Lip Liner on top of it to make it a little bit more brown nude, but this is really pretty and it's like a matte finish but not drying. And then this is the Sephora. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what the color is, but it's like this color. So pretty. So I wear this during the winter all the time. Oh, it's called Sephora Rouge Crush this shade guys oh my gosh it is the best during the fall and winter i wear this constantly i'm going to stock up on this because i love this shade um and then there's like a few things right now that i have in my cart that i really want to buy one of them is going to be the sephora eyeliner i heard one girl talking about how she really likes it and i do have eyeliner on right now but i want to find like a really good liquid eyeliner so i heard the sephora brand one is really good and then the last item that I'm going to share with you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, I will put my Instagram handle right here so you guys can go follow me. I tried out the La Mer hydrating masks last night. So it comes in this like gorgeous package. These are the hydrating masks. They're very hydrating. So you only leave it on for like eight minutes, goes over your face. And then after you take it off, you like rub in all of the, um, whatever is left over like the moisturizing substance into your face it's really really good and then i want to say it also all of them come with this um like oil treatment it's a um the treatment lotion after cleansing you put this on i haven't used this yet but obviously like i always hear great things about la mer so i was like okay you need to give this a try so i really like this i tried it for the first time last night it was very very hydrating my skin woke up this morning feeling like very refreshed and plump so i'm going to be using these maybe once or twice a week i'm really excited about that because i haven't been using face masks lately um, but anyways, I think that is everything. Um, I really hope that you guys liked all of my items. I hope you give them a try. If there are things that you guys are loving at the moment, please leave them in the description box below so I can go and check them out too that you like live by and that you always need from Sephora. Um, thank you so much for watching. I have to go run now and get changed to go um, to dinner with my husband, but I really appreciate you guys watching. If you would like, please subscribe to my channel. Like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below on any other videos that you would like to see also I did a full blog post on all of these products that I just showed you some um, I think pretty much everything and some maybe different products full blog post on everything that I get from Sephora with links of everything that I purchase so please go check that out I'm gonna leave it down in the description box and again thank you so much for watching please be sure to subscribe and like this video and turn on the notification bell so you get a notification every time that I upload a video and again thank you so much for watching I will be back um, soon with a new video and we will see I will see you guys later love you all Peace.